What are the two divisions of the respiratory system? The respiratory system is divided into the upper respiratory system and the lower respiratory system. The upper respiratory system includes the nose, nasal cavity, and sinuses. The lower respiratory system includes the larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. What is the difference between a virus and a retrovirus? A virus is a rudimentary biosy stem that has some of the aspects of a living system such as having a genome, genetic code, and the ability to adapt to its environment. A virus, however, cannot acquire and store energy and is therefore not functional outside of its hosts. Viruses and retroviruses infect cells by attaching themselves to the host. Cell and either entering themselves or injecting their genetic material into the cell and then reproducing its genetic material within the host cell. The reproduced virus then is released to find and attack more host cells. The difference between a virus and retrovirus is a function of how each replicates its genetic material. A virus has a single strand of genetic material either DNA or RNA. A retrovirus consists of a single strand of RNA. Once a retrovirus enters a cell, it collects nucleotides and assembles itself. As a double strand of DNA that splices itself into the host's genetic material. Retroviruses were first identified by David Baltimore, 1938, and Howard Temin, 1934. They were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1975 for their discovery. What is high-speed steel? High-speed steel is a general name for high-alloy steels that retain their hardness at very high temperatures and are used for metal cutting tools. All high-speed steels are based on either tungsten or molybdenum. Or both, as the primary heat-resisting alloying element. These steels require a special heat so that their unique properties can be fully realized. The manufacturing process consists of heating the steel to a temperature of 2150 degrees Fahrenheit to 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. 1175 degrees Celsius to 1315 degrees Celsius to obtain solution of a substantial percentage of the alloy carbides, quenching to room temperature. Tempering at 1000 degrees Fahrenheit to 1150 degrees Fahrenheit, 535 degrees Celsius to 620 degrees Celsius, and again cooling to room temperature. What are some uses for coal other than as an energy resource? In the past, many of the aromatic compounds, such as benzene, toluene, and xylene were made from coal. These compounds are now chiefly byproducts of petroleum. 
naphthalene and phenanthrene are still obtained from coal tar. Coal tar, a byproduct of coal, is used in roofing. When was plastic invented? In the mid-1850s, Alexander Parks, 1813-1890, experimented with nitrocellulose, or gun cotton. Mixed with camphor, it made a hard but flexible transparent material, which he called Parksine. He teamed up with a manufacturer to produce it. But there was no demand for it, and the firm went bankrupt. An American, John Wesley Hyatt, 1837-1920 Acquired the patent in 1868 with the idea of producing artificial ivory for billiard balls. Improving the formula and with an efficient manufacturing process, he marketed the material. Intended for use in making a few household articles, under the name celluloid. It soon found use in the manufacture of novelty and fancy goods buttons. Letter openers, boxes, hat pins, combs, and the like were products often made of celluloid. The material also became the medium for cinematography. Celluloid strips coated with a light-sensitive film were ideal for shooting and showing moving pictures. Celluloid was the only plastic material until 1904, when Belgian scientist Leo Hendrik Beck Eland 1863-1944, succeeded in producing a synthetic shellac from formaldehyde and phenol. Called Bakelite, it was the first of the thermosetting plastics, i.e., synthetic materials that having once been subjected to heat and pressure, became extremely hard and resistant to high temperatures. Bakelite and other, more versatile plastics, eventually eclipsed celluloid, and by the 1940s, celluloid's markets had shrunk so that it was no longer of commercial importance. Today, Ping-pong balls are almost the only product still made with celluloid. How does minimally invasive surgery differ from traditional, major, open surgery? Traditional Major, open surgery requires a major incision in the body, often several inches long. Allowing surgeons to physically place their hands inside the body to work. In minimally invasive surgery. The incision is very small and surgeons do not place their hands inside the body. Using a laparoscope a narrow wand containing a video camera. Surgeons are able to insert tools into tiny surgical openings to remove diseased tissue. Laparoscopy was introduced in the 1970s for gynecological treatment and gallbladder removal. At least half of all surgeries are now minimally invasive, laparoscopic or arthroscopic. With a wide range of applications called bladder removal, appendix removal, hernia repair, gynecological, colon removal, partial lung removal, spleen removal, and surgery for chronic heartburn or reflux disease. How is it determined that a species is endangered?
This determination is a complex process that has no set of fixed criteria that can be applied consistently to all species. The known number of living members in a species is not the sole factor. A species with a million members known to be alive but living in only one small area could be considered endangered, whereas another species having a smaller number of members but spread out in a broad area, would not be considered so threatened. Reproduction data The frequency of reproduction, the average number of offspring born, the survival rate, etc. enter into such determinations. In the United States, the director of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service within the Department of the Interior, determines which species are to be considered endangered. Based on research and field data from specialists, biologists, botanists, and naturalists. According to the Endangered Species Act of 1973, a species can be listed if it is threatened by any of the following. The present or threatened destruction, modification, or curtailment of its habitat or range. Utilization for commercial, sporting, scientific, or educational purposes at levels that detrimentally affect it. Disease or predation, absence of regulatory mechanisms adequate to prevent the decline of a species or degradation of its habitat other natural or man-made factors affecting its continued existence. If the species is so threatened, the director then determines the critical habitat, which is the species in habitation areas that contain the essential physical or biological features necessary for the species preservation. The critical habitat can include non-habitation areas, which are deemed necessary for the protection of the species. How many bones are in the human body? Babies are born with about 300 to 350 bones, but many of these fuse together between birth and maturity. To produce an average adult total of 206. Bone counts vary according to the method used to count them. Because a structure may be treated as either multiple bones or as a single bone with multiple parts. If a magnetic bar is cut in two, will it yield a north pole and a south pole magnet? Every magnet contains both a north pole and a south pole. There are no magnets which are purely north or south. Cutting a magnetic bar in half will produce two magnets each with a north pole and a south pole. What is the Toxic Substances Control Act, TOSCA? In 1976, the U.S. Congress passed the Toxic Substances Control Act, TOSCA. This act requires the pre-market testing of toxic substances. When a chemical substance is planned to be manufactured, the producer must notify the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and, 
if the data presented is determined to be inadequate to approve its use. The EPA will require the manufacturer to conduct further tests. Or, if it is later determined that a chemical is present at a level that presents an unreasonable public or environmental risk. Or if there is insufficient data to know the chemical's effects. Manufacturers have the burden of evaluating the chemical's characteristics and risks. If testing does not convince the EPA of the chemical's safety, the chemical's manufacturing, sale, or use can be limited or prohibited. What is spam? Spam, also called junk email, is unsolicited email. Spam is an annoyance to the recipient and may contain computer viruses or spyware. It often advertises products that are usually not of interest to the recipient and are oftentimes vulgar in content. Estimates suggest that as many as 1 billion spam messages are sent daily. Many email programs have spam filters or blockers to detect spam. Messages and either delete them or send them to the junk mailbox. What is the smallest bone in the body? The stapes, stirrup, in the middle ear is the smallest bone in the body. It measures to 1.34 inches, 2.6 to 3.4 centimeters. And weighs 0.00071 to 0.0015 ounce, 0.002 to 0.004 gram. How long do chemicals from marijuana stay in the body? Hen marijuana is smoked, tetrahydrocannabinol, THC. Its active ingredient is absorbed primarily in the fat tissues. The body transforms the THC into metabolites, which can be detected by urine tests for up to a week. Tests involving radioactively labeled THC have traced the metabolites for up to a month. The retention of labeled THC in humans is about 40% at 3 days and 30% at 1 week. Schedule V Low Potential for Abuse May contain lamotil, parapectolin, small amounts of narcotics. Regulated, Cherokol, Robitussin, in the same manner as non-scheduled prescription drugs. What are the three bones in the middle ear? The three bones in the middle ear are the malleus, hammer, the incus, anvil, and the stapes, stirrup. The bones look somewhat like the objects for which they are named. These three tiny bones in the middle ear bridge the eardrum and the inner ear. Transmitting sound vibrations. Why do cows have four stomachs?
The stomachs of cows, as well as all ruminants, are divided into four sections the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasums. Ruminants eat rapidly and do not chew much of their food completely before they swallow it. The liquid part of their food enters the reticulum first. While the solid part of their food enters the rumen where it softens. Bacteria in the rumen initially break it down as a first step in digestion. Ruminants later regurgitate it into the mouth where they chew their cud. Cows chew their cud about 6 to 8 times per day. Spending a total of 5 to 7 hours in rumination. The chewed cud goes directly into the other chambers of the stomach. Where various microorganisms assist in further digestion. What is friction? Friction is defined as the force that resists motion when the surface of one object slides over or comes in contact with the surface of another object. The three laws that govern the friction of an object at rest and the surface with which it is in contact state. Friction is proportional to the weight of an object. Friction is not determined by the surface area of the object. Friction is independent of the speed at which an object is moving along a surface provided the speed is not zero. Although friction reduces the efficiency of machines and opposes movement, it is an essential force. Without friction it would be impossible to walk, drive a car, or even strike a match. How do fishes swimming in a school change their direction simultaneously? He movement, which confuses predators, happens because fish detect pressure changes in the water. The detection system, called the lateral line, is found along each side of the fish's body. Along the line are clusters of tiny hairs inside cups filled with a jelly-like substance. If a fish becomes alarmed and turns sharply, it causes a pressure wave in the water around it. This wave pressure deforms the jelly in the lateral line of nearby fish. This moves the hairs that trigger nerves, and a signal is sent to the brain telling the fish to turn. When was the term dinosaur first used? The term dinosaur was first used by Richard Owen. 1804 to 1892, in 1841 in his report on British fossil reptiles. The term meaning fearful lizard was used to describe the group of large extinct reptiles whose fossil remains had been found by many collectors. What is the oldest breed of dog? Dogs are the oldest domestic animal, originating 12,000 to 14,000 years ago. They are believed to be descendants of wild canines, most likely wolves. 
which began to frequent human settlements where food was more readily available. The more aggressive canines were probably driven off or killed, while the less dangerous ones were kept to guard. Hunt, and later herd other domesticated animals, such as sheep. Attempts at selectively breeding desirable traits likely began soon after. The oldest purebred dog is believed to be the Saluki. Sumerian rock carvings in Mesopotamia. That date to about 7000 BCE depict dogs bearing a striking resemblance to the Saluki. The dogs are 23 to 28 inches, 58 to 71 centimeters, tall with a long, narrow head. The coat is smooth and silky and can be white, cream, fawn, gold, red, grizzle, bluish-gray, and tan, black and tan, or tricolour, white, black and tan. The tail is long and feathered. The Saluki has remarkable sight and tremendous speed, which makes it an excellent hunter. The oldest American purebred dog is the American Foxhound. It descends from a pack of foxhounds belonging to an Englishman named Robert. Brooke who settled in Maryland in 1650. These dogs were crossed with other strains imported from England. Ireland, and France to develop the American Foxhound. This dog stands 22 to 25 inches, 56 to 63.5 centimeters, tall. It has a long, slightly domed head, with a straight, squared out muzzle. The coat is of medium length and can be any color. They are used primarily for hunting. What is mitosis and what are the stages of this process? Mitosis involves the replication of DNA and its separation into two new daughter cells which are genetically identical to the parent cell. While only four phases of mitosis are often listed, the entire process is actually composed of six phases. Interphase, involves extensive preparation for the division process prop haze, the condensation of chromosomes. The nuclear membrane disappears, formation of the spindle apparatus. Chromosomes attached to spindle fibers metaphase, chromosomes, attached by spindle fibers, a line along the midline of a cell anaphase. The entromere splits and chromatids move apart telophase, the nuclear membrane reforms around. Newly divided chromosome cytokinesis, the division of cytoplasm, cell membranes, and organelles occur. Why is a lubricant, such as oil, often used to counter the force of friction? Lubricants, such as oil, are used to reduce friction. For example, in machines consisting of metal parts. The continuous rubbing of the parts together increases the temperature and creates heat. To prevent serious wear and damage to the machines, grease and oil are applied to reduce the friction.
Which woods have the best heating quality in a wood burning stove? Wood accounts for 28% of the total of renewable energy resources in the United States. Woods that have high heat value, meaning that one quart equals 200 to 250 gallons. 757 to 946 liters of fuel oil or 250 to 300 cubic feet, 7 to 8.5 cubic meters of natural gas. Are hickory, beech, oak, yellow birch, ash, hornbeam, sugar maple, and apple. Woods that have medium heat value, meaning that one quart equals 150 to 200 gallons. 567 to 757 liters of fuel oil or 200 to 250 cubic feet, 5.5 to 7 cubic meters of natural gas. Are white birch, Douglas fir, red maple, eastern larch, big leaf maple, and elm. Woods that have a low heat value, meaning that one quart equals 100 to 150 gallons, 378 to 567 liters. Of fuel oil or 150 to 200 cubic feet, 4 to 5.5 cubic meters, of natural gas, are aspen, red alder, white pine. Redwood, western hemlock, eastern hemlock, sitka spruce, cottonwood, western red cedar, and lodgepole pine. How big are capillaries? The diameter of a capillary is about 0.0003 inches, 0.0076 millimeters. Which is just about the same as a single red blood cell. A capillary is only about 0.04 inches, 1 millimeter, long. If all the capillaries in a human body were placed end to end, the collective length would be approximately 25,000 miles, 46,325 kilometers. Which is slightly more than the circumference of the Earth at the equator, 24,900 miles, 46,139 kilometers. Why and how do cats purr? Experts cannot agree on how or why cats purr, or on where the sound originates. Some think that the purr is produced by the vibration of blood in a large vein in the chest cavity. Where the vein passes through the diaphragm, the muscles around the vein contract. Nipping the blood flow and setting up oscillations. These sounds are magnified by the air in the bronchial tubes and the windpipe. Others think that purring is the vibrations of membranes. Called false vocal cords, located near the vocal cords. No one knows for sure why a cat purrs, but many people interpret the sound as one of contentment. Cats are also known to purr while in pain. Such as while giving birth or dying, possibly as a way to soothe themselves. What is a food web?
A food web consists of interconnecting food chains. Many animals feed on different foods rather than exclusively. On one single species of prey or one type of plant. Animals that use a variety of food sources have a greater chance of survival than those with a single food source. Complex food webs provide greater stability to a living community. How does a seismograph work? A seismograph records earthquake waves. When an earthquake occurs, three types of waves are generated. The first two, the P and S waves, are propagated within the earth, while the third, consisting of Love and Rayleigh waves, is propagated along the planet's surface. The P wave travels about 3.5 miles, 5.6 kilometers, per second and is the first wave to reach the surface. The S wave travels at a velocity of a little more than half of the P waves. If the velocities of the different modes of wave propagation are known, the distance between the earthquake and an observation station may be deduced by Measuring the time interval between the arrival of the faster and slower waves. When the ground shakes, the suspended weight of the seismograph, because of its inertia, scarcely moves. But the shaking motion is transmitted to the marker, which leaves a record on the drum. What are some common culinary herbs? Herbs are often used to enhance flavors in food. They are usually from the leaves of non-woody plants. What is the hardest substance in the body? Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the body. It is composed of 96% mineral salts and 4% organic matter and water. How do T cells differ from B lymphocytes? Lymphocytes are one variety of white blood cells and are the primary cells of the lymphatic system, the body's immune system. The immune system fights invading organisms that have penetrated the body's general defenses. T cells, responsible for dealing with most viruses. For handling some bacteria and fungi, and for cancer surveillance, are one of the two main classes of lymphocytes. T lymphocytes, or T cells, compose about 60 to 80 percent of the lymphocytes circulating in the blood. They have been educated in the thymus to perform particular functions. Killer T cells are sensitized to multiply when they come into contact with antigens, foreign proteins. On abnormal body cells, cells that have been invaded by viruses, cells in transplanted tissue, or tumor cells. These killer T cells attach themselves to the abnormal cells and release chemicals. 
lymphokins, to destroy them. Helper T cells assist killer cells in their activities and control other aspects of the immune response. When B lymphocytes, which compose approximately 10 to 15 percent of total lymphocytes, contact the antigens on abnormal cells, the lymphocytes enlarge and divide to become plasma cells. Then the plasma cells secrete vast numbers of immunoglobulins or antibodies into the blood, which attach themselves to the surfaces of the abnormal cells. To begin a process that will lead to the destruction of the invaders. NK, natural killer, cells account for the remaining 5 to 10 percent of the circulating lymphocytes. They attack foreign cells, normal cells infected with viruses, and cancer cells that appear in normal tissues. What is the largest rainforest? The Amazon Basin is the world's largest continuous tropical rainforest. It covers about 2.7 million square miles, 6.9 million square kilometers. What is Zeno's paradox? Zeno of Elia, c. 490 c. 425 BCE, a Greek philosopher and mathematician, is famous for his paradoxes, which deal with the continuity of motion. One form of the paradox is, if an object moves with constant speed along a straight line, from point zero to point one, the object must first cover half the distance, one half. Then half the remaining distance, one fourth, then half the remaining distance, one eighth, and so on without end. The conclusion is that the object never reaches point one. Because there is always some distance to be covered, motion is impossible. In another approach to this paradox, Zeno used an allegory telling of a race between a tortoise and Achilles, who could run 100 times as fast. Where the tortoise started running 10 rods, 165 feet, in front of Achilles. Because the tortoise always advanced one slash one hundred of the distance that Achilles advanced in the same time period. It was theoretically impossible for Achilles to pass him. The English mathematician and writer Charles Dodgson, better known as Lewis Carroll, used the characters of Achilles and the tortoise to illustrate his paradox of infinity. What is the meaning of the medical abbreviation NYD? Not yet diagnosed. Who successfully demonstrated that curved balls actually curve? In 1959, Lyman Briggs, 1874-1963, demonstrated that a ball can curve up to 17.5 inches, 44.45 centimeters. 
Over the 60 feet 6 inches, 18.4 meters, it travels between a pitcher and a batter. Ending the debate of whether curve balls actually curved or if the apparent change in course was merely an optical illusion. Briggs studied the effect of spin and speed on the trajectory and established the relationship between amount of curvature and the spin of the ball. A rapidly spinning baseball experiences two lift forces that cause it to curve in flight. One is the Magnus force named after H.G. Magnus, 1802-1870. The German physicist who discovered it, and the other is the wake deflection force. The Magnus force causes the curved ball to move sideways because the pressure forces on the ball's sides do not balance each other. The stitches on a baseball cause the pressure on one side of the ball to be less than on its opposite side. This forces the ball to move faster on one side than the other and forces the ball to curve. The wake deflection force also causes the ball to curve to one side. It occurs because the air flowing around the ball in the direction of its rotation remains attached to the ball longer and the ball's wake is deflected. How does a cardiac pacemaker differ from an implantable defibrillator? Both pacemakers and implantable defibrillators are used to treat arrhythmias in the heart rate. A pacemaker monitors the electrical impulses in the heart and delivers electrical pulses as necessary to make the heart beat in a more normal rhythm. Is there gold in seawater? There are very minute amounts of gold in seawater. Searching all of the planet's seawater one could find 9 pounds. 4 kilograms, of gold for every person on Earth. As water reservoirs, aquifers provide about 60% of American drinking water. The huge Ogallala Aquifer, underlying about 2 million acres of the Great Plains is a major source of water for the central United States. Water is purified as it is filtered through the rock. But it can be polluted by spills, dumps, acid rain, and other causes. In addition, recharging of water by rainfall often cannot keep up with the volume removed by heavy pumping. In some areas, the aquifer has been decreasing by 3.2 feet, 1 meter per year and only recharged at a rate of 1 millimeter, a little over 1 32nd of an inch, per year. The Ogallala aquifer's supply of water could be depleted by 80% by the year 2020. Who is considered the founder of modern conservation? Scottish-born American naturalist John Muir, 1838-1914 is the father of conservation and the founder of the Sierra Club. He fought for the preservation of the Sierra Nevada in California and the creation of Yosemite National Park. 
he directed most of the Sierra Club's conservation efforts and was a lobbyist for the Antiquities Act, which prohibited the removal or destruction of structures of historic significance from federal lands. Another prominent influence was George Perkins Marsh, 1801-1882, a Vermont lawyer and scholar. His book Man and Nature emphasized the mistakes of past civilizations that resulted in the destruction of natural resources. As the conservation movement swept through the country in the last three decades of the 19th century, a number of prominent citizens joined. The efforts to conserve natural resources and to preserve wilderness areas. Writer John Burroughs, 1837-1921, Forrester Gifford Pinchot, 1865-1946, Botanist Charles Sprague Sargent. 1841-1927, and editor Robert Underwood Johnson, 1857-1937, were early advocates of conservation. What was the flower clock of Linnaeus? Carolus Linnaeus, 1707-1778, who was responsible for the binomial nomenclature. Classification system of living organisms, invented a floral clock to tell the time of day. He had observed over a number of years that certain plants consistently opened and closed. Their flowers at particular times of the day, these times varied from species to species. One could deduce the approximate time of day according to which species had opened or closed its flowers. Linnaeus planted a garden displaying local flowers. Arranged in sequence of flowering throughout the day, that would flower even on cloudy or cold days. He called it a horologium flori or flower clock. How does jet lag affect one's body? The physiological and mental stress encountered by airplane travelers. When crossing four or more time zones is commonly called jet lag. Patterns of hunger, sleep, and elimination, along with alertness. Memory, and normal judgment, may all be affected. More than 100 biological functions that fluctuate during the 24-hour cycle. Circadian rhythm can become desynchronized. Most people's bodies adjust at a rate of about one hour per day. Thus after four time zone changes, the body will require about four days to return to its usual rhythms. Flying eastward is often more difficult than flying westward, which adds hours to the day. What cheeses are associated with fungi? The unique flavor of cheeses such as Roquefort, Camembert, and Brie is produced by the action of members of the genus Penicillium. Roquefort is often referred to as the king of cheeses. It is one of the oldest and best known in the world. 
This blue cheese has been enjoyed since Roman times and was a favorite of Charlemagne. King of the Franks and Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, 742 to 814. Roquefort is made from sheep's milk that has been exposed to the mold. Penicillium Roqueforti and aged for three months or more in the limestone caverns of Mount Comalu. Near the village of Roquefort in southwestern France. This is the only place true Roquefort can be aged. It has a creamy, rich texture and is pungent, piquant, and salty. It has a creamy white interior with blue veins, the cheese is held together with a snowy white rind. True Roquefort is authenticated by the presence of a red sheep on the emblem of the cheese's wrapper. Penicillium camemberti give camembert and brie cheeses their special qualities. Napoleon is said to have christened camembert cheese with its name. Supposedly the name comes from the Norman village where a farmer's wife first served it to Napoleon. This cheese is formed of cow's milk cheese and has a white, downy rind and a smooth, creamy interior. When perfectly ripe and served at room temperature, the cheese should ooze thickly. Although brie is made in many places, brie from the region of the same name. East of Paris is considered one of the world's finest cheeses by connoisseurs. Similar to camembert, it has a white, surface ripened rind and smooth, buttery interior. What are the transition elements? The transition elements are the 10 subgroups of elements between group 2 and group 13. Starting with period 4. They include gold, O, element 79, silver, AG, element 47. Platinum, PT, element 78, iron, Fe, element 26, copper, CU, element 29, and other metals. All transition elements are metals. Compared to alkali and alkaline earth metals. They are usually harder and more brittle and have higher melting points. Transition metals are also good conductors of heat and electricity. They have variable valences, and compounds of transition elements are often colored. Transition elements are so named because they comprise a gradual shift from the strongly. Electropositive elements of groups I and II to the electronegative elements of groups 6 and 7. What does the color of a star indicate? The color of a star gives an indication of its temperature and age. Stars are classified by their spectral type. From oldest to youngest and hottest to coolest, the types of stars are each type is further subdivided on a scale of 0 to 9. The Sun is a type G2 star. Why is styrofoam a good insulator? Styrofoam insulates well because the foam form increases. 
the length of path for heat flow through the material. It also reduces the effective cross-sectional area across which the heat can flow. What is the rate of species extinction in the tropical rainforests? Biologists estimate that tropical rainforests contain approximately one half of Earth's animal and plant species. These forests contain 155,000 of the 250,000 known plant species and innumerable insect and animal species. Nearly 100 species become extinct each day. This is equivalent to four species per hour. At the current rates, 5 to 10 percent of the tropical. Rainforest species will become extinct every decade. Where are the largest wind farms? Wind turbines harness the wind's energy to generate electricity. The turbines, consisting of two or three blades, are mounted on tall towers to capture the wind. Wind turbines can stand alone for water pumping, communications, or for use by individual homeowners or farmers to supply electric power. Wind farms are clusters of wind turbines that generate electricity. The largest wind farms in the United States are in Texas, which has a total installed capacity of 7,118 megawatts. What is the female reproductive cycle? The female reproductive cycle is a general term to describe both the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle. As well as the hormonal cycles that regulate them. The ovarian cycle is the monthly series of events that occur in the ovaries related to the maturation of an oocyte. The menstrual cycle is the monthly series of changes that occur in the uterus as it awaits a fertilized ovum. What substance, other than water, is less dense as a solid than as a liquid? Only bismuth and water share this characteristic. Density, the mass per unit volume or mass slash volume, refers to how compact or crowded a substance is. For instance, the density of water is 1 g slash cm3, gram per cubic centimeter, or 1 kg slash l, kilogram per liter. The density of a rock is 3.3 g slash cm3, pure iron is 7.9 g slash cm3, and earth, as a whole, is 5.5 g slash cm3, average. Water as a solid, i.e., ice, floats. Who were the founders of modern bacteriology? German bacteriologist Robert Koch, 
1843 to 1910. And French chemist Louis Pasteur are considered the founders of bacteriology. In 1864 Pasteur devised a way to slowly heat foods and beverages to a temperature that was high enough to kill most of the microorganisms that would cause spoilage and disease, but would not ruin or curdle the food. This process is called pasteurization. By demonstrating that tuberculosis was an infectious disease caused by a specific species of bacillus. Cook in 1882 set the groundwork for public health. Measures that would go on to significantly reduce the occurrences of many diseases. His laboratory procedures, methodologies for isolating microorganisms, and for postulates for determining. Agents of disease gave medical investigators valuable insights into the control of bacterial infections. Are there trees that predict the weather and tell time? Observing the leaves of a tree may be an old-fashioned method of predicting the weather. But farmers have noted that when maple leaves curl and turn bottom up in a blowing wind, rain is sure to follow. Woodsmen claim they can tell how rough a winter is going to be by the density of lichens on a nut tree. Trees can also be extraordinary timekeepers, Gryphonia, in tropical West Africa, has 2 inch, 5 centimeter. Inflated pods that burst with a hearty noise, indicating that it is time for farmers of the Acre Plains to plant crops. Trichilia is a 60-foot, 18-meter, tree that flowers in February and again in August. Signaling that it is time, just before the second rains arrive, for the second planting of corn. In the Fiji Islands, planting yams is cued by the flowering of the coral tree. What is cubic zirconium? Cubic zirconium was discovered in 1937 by two German mineralogists, M. V. Stackelbug and K. Chudoba. It became popular with jewelry designers in the 1970s after Soviet scientists under the direction of V.V. Osaka learned how to grow the mineral in the Lebedev Physical Institute laboratory. Most of the cubic zirconium on the market is chemically composed of zirconium oxide and yttrium oxide. The two compounds are melted together at a very high temperature. Almost 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit 2,760 degrees Celsius, using the skull melt method. This method uses a radio frequency generator to heat the zirconium oxide. A careful cooling of the mixture produces the flawless crystals that become cubic zirconia gemstones. What are the gas laws? The gas laws are physical laws concerning the behavior of gases. They include Boyle's 8 law, which states that the volume of a given mass of gas at a constant temperature is inversely proportional to its pressure and Charles's law. 
which states that the volume of a given mass of gas at constant pressure is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. These two laws can be combined to give the general or universal gas law, which may be expressed as pressure x volume, slash temperature equals constant Avogadro's law states that equal volumes of all gases contain the same number of particles if they all have the same pressure and temperature. The laws are not obeyed exactly by any real gas, but many common gases obey them under certain conditions. Particularly at high temperatures and low pressures. What is the average size of a gene? The average size of a vertebrate gene is about 30,000 base pairs. Bacteria, because their sequences contain only coding material, have smaller genes of about 1,000 base pairs each. Human genes are in the 20,000 to 50,000 base pairs range. Although sizes greater than 100,000 have been suggested as well. When was the first oil well in the United States drilled? The Drake Well at Titusville, Pennsylvania was completed on August 28, 1859, some sources list the date as August 27. The driller, William Uncle Billy Smith, d. 1890, went down 69.5 feet, 21 meters, to find oil for Edwin L. Drake, 1819-1880, the wells operator. Within 15 years, Pennsylvania oil field production reached over 10,360,000. pound. 163 kilogram, barrels a year. What adverse effects may a person who is allergic to sulfites experience? Sulfites are chemical agents used to prevent discoloration in dried fruits and freshly cut vegetables. They are also used by winemakers to inhibit bacterial growth and fermentation. If a person is allergic to sulfites, he or she can develop breathing difficulties within minutes of consuming food or drink containing sulfites. Reactions to sulfites can include acute asthma attacks, loss of consciousness, and anaphylactic shock. How can an observer distinguish planets from stars? In general, planets emit a constant light or shine, whereas stars appear to twinkle. The twinkling effect is caused by the combination of the distance between the Stars and Earth and the refractive effect Earth's atmosphere has on a star's light. Planets are relatively closer to Earth than stars and their disc-like shapes average out the twinkling effect. Except when they're observed near Earth's horizon.
how many flowers need to be tapped for bees to gather enough nectar to produce one pound of honey. Bees must gather 4 pounds, 1.8 grams, of nectar. Which requires the bees to tap about 2 million flowers, in order to produce 1 pound, 454 grams, of honey. The honey is gathered by worker bees, whose lifespan is 3 to 6 weeks. Long enough to collect about a teaspoon of nectar. Which breed is known as the voiceless dog? The Basenji dog does not bark. When happy, it will make an appealing sound described as something between a chortle and a yodel. It also snarls and growls on occasion. One of the oldest breeds of dogs, and originating in Central Africa. The Basenji was often given as a present to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Following the decline of the Egyptian civilization, the Basenji was still valued in Central Africa for its hunting prowess and its silence. The dog was rediscovered by English explorers in the 19th century. Although it was not widely bred until the 1940s. The Basenji is a small, lightly built dog with a flat skull and a long, rounded muzzle. It measures 16 to 17 inches, 40 to 43 centimeters. In height at the shoulder and weighs 22 to 24 pounds, 10 to 11 kilograms. The coat is short and silky in texture. The feet, chest, and tail tip are white, the rest of the coat is chestnut red, black, or black and tan. Was Polaris always the North Star? Earth has had several North Stars. Earth slowly wobbles on its axis as it spins. This motion is called Precession Earth traces a circle in the sky over a period of 26,000 years. In pharaonic times the North Star was Thuban, today it is Polaris, around 14,000 CE it will be Vega. What is at the center of Earth? Geophysicists have held since the 1940s that Earth's interior core is a partly crystallized sphere of iron and nickel that is gradually cooling and expanding. As it cools, this inner core releases energy to an outer core called the fluid core, which is composed of iron, nickel, and lighter elements, including sulfur and oxygen. Another model called the Nuclear Earth Model holds that there is a small core, perhaps 5 miles, 8 kilometers, wide, of uranium and plutonium surrounded by a nickel-silicon compound. The uranium and plutonium work as a natural nuclear reactor, generating radiating energy in the form of heat which in turn drives charged particles to create Earth's magnetic field. The traditional model of Earth's core is still dominant. 
however, scientists have yet to disprove the nuclear Earth model. From where do frankincense and myrrh originate? Frankincense is an aromatic gum resin obtained by tapping. The trunks of trees belonging to the genus Boswellia. The milky resin hardens when exposed to the air and forms. Irregular lumps the form in which it is usually marketed. Also called olibanum, frankincense is used in pharmaceuticals. As a perfume, as a fixative, and in fumigants and incense. Myrrh comes from a tree of the genus Comifora, a native of Arabia and Northeast Africa. It too is a resin obtained from the tree trunk and is used in pharmaceuticals, perfumes, and toothpaste. What are the four major groups of plants? They are, non-vascular, seedless vascular, flowering. Seed-bearing vascular, and non-flowering, seed-bearing vascular. Plants are divided into phyla based on whether they are vascular. Containing vascular tissue consisting of cells joined into tubes that transport water and nutrients, or non-vascular. The phyla of vascular plants are then further divided into seedless plants and those that contain seeds. Plants with seeds are divided into flowering and non-flowering groups. Nonvascular plants have traditionally been called bryophytes. Because bryophytes lack a system for conducting water and nutrients. They are restricted in size and live in moist areas close to the ground. Examples of bryophytes are mosses, liverworts, and hornworts. Examples of seedless, Vascular plants are ferns, horsetails, and club mosses. The conifers, which are cone-bearing, are seed-bearing, non-flowering vascular plants. The majority of plants are seed-bearing, flowering, vascular plants known as angiosperms. How many people visit a dentist regularly? Only about half the population visits a dentist as often as once a year. Children, ages 2 to 17, visit the dentist more frequently than adults. What names are used for groups of birds? A group of birds in general is called a congregation, flight, flock, voli, or volley. Below is a list specific to types of birds. What is aquaregia? Aquaregia, also known as nitrohydrochloric acid, is a mixture of one part concentrated nitric acid and three parts concentrated hydrochloric acid. 
the chemical reaction between the acids makes it possible to dissolve all metals except silver. The reaction of metals with nitrohydrochloric acid typically involves oxidation of the metals to a metallic ion and the reduction of the nitric acid to nitric oxide. The term comes from Latin and means royal water. It was named by the alchemists for its ability to dissolve gold and platinum, which were called the noble metals. What are the main functions of the plasma membrane? The main purpose of the plasma membrane is to provide a barrier that keeps cellular components inside the cell while simultaneously keeping unwanted substances from entering the cell. The membrane allows essential nutrients to be transported into the cell and aids in the removal of waste products from the cell. The specific functions of a membrane depend on the kinds of phospholipids and proteins present in the plasma membrane. Is there a national flower for the United States? The United States adopted the rose as the national flower on October 7, 1986. After many years of deliberation, other flowers suggested were the dogwood, the mountain laurel, and the columbine. What determines eye color? Variations in eye color range from light blue to dark brown and are inherited. Eye color is chiefly determined by the amount and distribution of melanin within the irises. If melanin is present only in the epithelial cells that cover the posterior surface of the iris, the iris appears blue. When this condition exists together with denser than usual tissue within the body of the iris, it looks gray. When melanin is present within the body of the iris, as well as the epithelial covering, the iris appears brown. Green and hazel eyes result from an increase in the amount of a combination of yellow and black melanin. <laughs>